Wool's mills produced silk and cotton. The most famous of these mills was the Boot Mill. Many of these laborers came from European countries such as France, Italy, Germany, and Turkey. There was also a huge Polish and Canadian population within Lowell. Life was hard earned. Men and women worked upwards of 14 hours a day. To house the hugely growing population, the Boot Corporation built tenements for the workers and their families to live in. Many of you have heard of the French section of Lowell. This area still exists, but is no longer categorized as the French section. These industry-built tenements allowed the corporations to circumvent the very low wages they were paying their workers. With such crowded living spaces, it's no doubt that many workers and their families contracted diseases and died. But because there was such an influx of immigrant workers, the tenement apartments were cleaned up and a new family was moved in. The city of Lowell became very prosperous. It was a wealthy destination for businessmen looking to own land and build corporations. The attraction brought many things, but what it didn't do was ease the suffering and pain of the workers and allow them better pay. This weekly wages chart is almost horrifying to look at. Men in 1824 only made $6.50 per week. But it's important to note that by 1868, their pay had nearly doubled, and this is because most of them went on strike. Zara Bagley is hugely credited with the Shorter Day, Better Pay movement. She campaigned for women's rights as well as the rights of immigrant workers and domestic laborers. In the years to come, the Industrial Revolution in Lowell would calm somewhat, and times of war became imminent. For many reasons, the Schwartz Brothers sculpture is important to the city of Lowell. It represents thousands of dedicated people who earned a hard living during hard times. It also signifies Lowell's pledge to never forget them. The plaque is dedicated to Hugh Kaminsky, who in 1821 led a party of men from Charleston to Lowell. The company is credited with creating new textile innovations. Because of Kaminsky's Band of Brothers, the Lowell Immigrant Worker Movement began. Both the sculpture and the plaque are made of bronze and sit atop a stone slab of granite. It was installed in 1985 by the artists Elliot and Ivan Schwartz, brothers from Brooklyn.